What is up, guys? Today, we have something very unique and special for our 2013 Jeep Rubicon. Um, if you've ever heard of a company called Car Obata, I believe is how you pronounce it. I don't know. The, the name's not in front of me. Anyways, I just got a really special package, and my wife just brought it inside. I just pulled up in the garage, so I'm going to go ahead and run in and show you guys what we got. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, wife. Hello. My packages. Look at the packages. So these packages, doggos, so happy. Hey, Zeus. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Doggos love. Um, so we ordered these packages, I believe, on Tuesday, and they have showed up on Friday. So some people were having to wait a month to get these. Mine showed up very quickly. They were estimated to be here on Monday. And so they showed up to business or Saturday and Monday sooner than expected. And what I do have is the digital dash and also the K1 radio. Let's see here, right there. My packages, by the way. My packages. <laughs> this one isn't gonna have anything else on it. Oh, that's cool. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Will my phone hook up to this radio? It's supposed to have um, Apple CarPlay. Yeah, that would be great. So, okay. You're excited? Yeah. Okay. We're going to make Katie install it. I'm going to sit in, sit in the passenger seat and get screamed at. It's not going to get installed. <laughs> if I have to do it. Odin's going to do it. Odin, you did it um, But it's pretty straightforward. Um... This one I've watched a bunch of videos on. This one we have it. This one we have to cut the dash. Ah. So I don't know if I told you this. We have to cut the dash yeah, to make this one fit. This one we have to cut the dash for. So this is changing the way the dash looks. Yeah, so we have to cut the left side. These are the same. It's This is taller. So we have to cut the side of the dash oh, off. So you don't have to do the bottom? No. It's okay. the... The side of the rubber, the, okay. the leather has to be cut. Sure. On the dash. I'll believe you when it happens. When you cut it, yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I don't want the cut to be not good. Okay. Well, guys, um, I believe Katie is wanting to go out for a photo shoot with the Jeep. The yes, there we go. Got to step back. Might have to take that photo. Um, what is your Instagram tag? It's Katie Knox. There we go. So if you guys want to see the Jeep, I mean, you guys have seen the videos. If you want to see my lovely, beautiful wife modeling with the Jeep, we go out, take photos. We're hoping to travel more this summer. When we get things done around the house, we will hope to go travel more. So we're going to go do that. And then when we get home later this evening, we're going to start installing. Ooh. Just got back from the photo shoot and we are going to... Get it open. So I have watched quite a few opening videos of these or not opening, well, maybe opening videos. Uh, they were basically talking about all the parts. The K1, which we will be opening next, I have seen less information about. So we just opened it and here it comes. So that's, so I, I don't know, everybody's activation code. Um, nobody actually wanted to show this in their videos. Well, from my understanding, it's a one-time use. I'm going to activate mine. If for whatever reason you need one and it works for you, great. But I don't think it's going to affect me. So there's that. Okay, so that's the manual. Okay. Some wires and stuff. This yes. Steering? Yes, so you can pull it out if you can. I guess, yeah. We don't have to take everything out. Okay. So, new steering controls. Okay. They feel normal. Hey, you're jumping ahead of me. <laughs> Hi, Zeus. Um, these wires, Katie, are what we use to transfer all the information from one to the other from your existing cluster. Yep, so there's the plugs. It's not touch screen, so don't touch it. 
That's the backup camera. Okay, so they did stiff uh, stuff it in the box. Um, this is like a sticker or something. Okay, cool. Um, this mounts on top of the hard top with two-sided tape. So we're gonna try it. Okay, so here's the actual unit. Hey, wow, very different, very, uh, very big. It feels nice. It does feel nice. There's the back of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of plugs, fuses, feels nice. Yeah, like it's sturdy plastic. Mm -hmm. okay. So they do also have um, a lighting vent system. Um, we chose not to do that because it was like $250. So we can add that later. I wanted to see how all of this was going to go to start with. But, yeah, that's a that's a huge screen. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, so that looks really cool. Mm -hmm. So we are going to get these basically set up. We're going to go get in the Jeep and start disassembling things, and we will bring you guys along. Here we are, guys, out in the Jeep. So I wanted to show you guys and kind of how to remove part of the dash. Um, here is one of the air vents, okay? And they turn, okay? What you have to do is you have to line up the inside of the vent till you see a square opening in that. Basically, there it is right there. You take a flathead, you put it in it, you kind of hold the vent and the outside piece. Let me, you basically, you don't, I don't think you actually stick the screwdriver in a whole lot because if you stick it in too much like I just did, that's when it hits other things inside. So you just turn it and then pull it out. Bid, you just kind of stick it in there and you pop it a little bit. Honestly, it was that easy to pop off. So not difficult, but what I am seeing is that cord's not very long. So I'm gonna reach through the vent and I'm going to attempt, oh, it does have a red tab on it. So you have to push that tab up, click it out of the way, and there we go. So yeah, you just push the red tab up to release it, and then you push the button and pull it off. So pretty straightforward. We do have to remove that because there is a screw, if you want to show the light right there, that we have to remove. So it is a seven millimeter screw. Um, I did end up removing a screw from up here. I had a phone mount. Now that I have that part out. Ooh, okay. So now, now that I've tried just grabbing it a little bit and pulling. I'm excited we get to get rid of this. Oh, uh, that marking? Yeah, because I, I might, never got it off. I might need to go ahead and pull this vent as well so i pulled the vent out i kind of grabbed up here and i did loosen the top of it but i figured there were going to be screws underneath which i was correct um basically i just kind of grabbed around here and i kind of just gently started pulling stuff i didn't look anything up um but it does have some tabs on the bottom here so you don't want to yank from the bottom you want to yank from the top gently and this will pull out it looks like i got two seven millimeter screws so i'm going to go ahead and remove this one and one over here and be able to pull the dash out so oh, okay so i do believe we have to go back and we actually have to cut all of this out but the new kit is designed to cover this cut is what it said so it's kind of like a one-time install so i hope you don't ever want to go back to factory or maybe you go back and buy one of these if you're trying to sell the jeep it's also a seven, so. Okay, so I got the four screws out. I think it's just really, really stuck. There we go, yes, really stuck. I'm gonna start disconnecting some stuff. On your Jeep, 
you most likely just have like three plugs and you would unplug it. So it's pretty straightforward. Basically on the side right here, I don't know if, well, you don't have to. It's just right here. There is a 10 millimeter nut or I mean uh, bolt on each side that you have to remove. Down here on the back of the steering wheel, there's two Phillips screws. On the back, behind this thing, on the back of the steering wheel, there is a T25, um, which I did have to use a miniature ratchet to be able to fit in there. Um, I couldn't use my screwdriver with the tip on it. Um, so I got that removed. Um, the two tens allow the air bags to come off. I do have my negative battery disconnected, so I am pulling my air bag. Cool stuff. Don't yank on it too hard. These yellow tabs will break. So inside of this, there are four T25s that I am going to go ahead and remove. Um, I'm probably going to do it off camera, so I have some help holding this. Maybe. Okay. There we go. So it was a little tab. Either that or I broke it. One or the other. There it is. I'm going to attempt to set... That's super sketchy. Okay, so on the back of this, there is a plug and one screw. I'm going to go ahead and have some help and go ahead and remove this. Okay, so like I said, little tab, I used my fingernail, was able to pop it out. Three little T10 screws. That's the old one. There's the new one. Oh, new one looks so much better. The old one was actually worn down. The buttons do feel just a little bit different, but uh, thank you. Cool. Oh, neat. Mm -hmm. They so, feel new. They feel new. So the reason we are going ahead and we are installing this first is because she didn't even have the buttons. So you have to have the buttons in order to put your activation code in it. Um, a lot of people were confused about how to do that. Well, this is how you do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in, reassemble the parts, turn the battery, get the battery reconnected so we can have some heat. I have these screws. I have my steering wheel all the way down. Okay, so this is the first time that I am pulling this out. Okay, so you have literally no space to pull anything out. So, I mean, I almost wanna take a picture so I have my first black plug and it goes in the second um, cavity from the left. And then I have a brown plug, goes on the left side or on the right side on the left. And these are really stuck. So trying to do this without yanking the wires out. Okay, brown on the left. And then I have another ooh, black on that one. All right, well, that, that hurt. Okay, so there's the back of it. Very old looking. I mean, it's nice, but it's definitely different. Okay, I'm gonna set that off to the side. Holding a flashlight on my neck is a great, great time. Okay, sink cable. Um, does it tell me? No, hopefully they're different connectors. Well, one's brown, one's black, so. I'm guessing the female must go to the vehicle. Okay, that's snapped in. Does not tell me sync cable B. Okay, so I'm guessing. I'm guessing it doesn't matter which way you plug it in. It's not specified at all. Okay. And then same procedure, female to the vehicle. Okay, got it. So we're gonna start by plugging back in the old one. So I said brown was on the left, left side. You know what, they are different. Yep, yeah, they're different, so you don't have to worry too much about it. So left and 
locked. Okay, and it's only a couple wires in each one. It's actually not all of them either. So now I'm going to plug this into, it got really dirty probably because somebody didn't put, and I just touched it. Somebody didn't put the protector back over it. Okay. I would have kept it on when we installed it too. I would have to cut holes through the back of it. Okay, so this, oh look, it lit up. Ooh, check that out. Check that out, input activation. So it tells me to start the vehicle first. Yay. And start engine. Okay, well, I started engine. So there's that. Okay, look at how cool that is. Okay, so here's my activation code again. So we are going to attempt this because no one else does it. Up and down, here we go, ready? Well, actually, I, six is already my, my right number. There we go, it moved. And down. There we go, check that out, it's moving. So we're going to three. We're going to try to go up this time. Nope, don't go up. It doesn't go, it doesn't spin in a circle. So, six, three, two, over, up to nine, over to nine. It would be interesting to see if all of these have the same activation code, honestly. So, Six three two nine nine. Okay, I'm gonna go over. Nope, I'm just gonna push okay now. Please input activation code. I don't know what the top stuff is, but I'm gonna push okay. Synchron synchronizing. Okay. Num oh, hey, check that out. Hey, I, I skipped the number, it went from five, I went to seven. Oh, check that out. That's pretty cool. So in the instructions, connect, press the key to unlock and wait for the JPRO to enter the interface to be active. Please enter the activation code. Number eight, after synchronization is complete, be sure to turn off the engine and unplug the sync line as promoted. Okay? So as of right now, As of right now, my gas gauge is not working correctly. It's showing I have a full tank while on here. It's showing I have three quarter. I also should be in miles, not kilometers. So I think that's all settings and I might have to restart the vehicle to get into that. Okay. That looks so cool. Okay, so it tells me to turn it off and plug this back in correctly and then set it back in place. So I like how it tells you to do the steering wheel stuff after. How interesting. So this cord is for updating. We might want to figure out how to plug this in and route it somewhere we can update this later if we have problems so that's the thing okay well this is pretty much straightforward oh right here p instructions climb all that okay all right well i am going to now turn the vehicle off switch everything over and i will bring you guys back once we get there okay guys so i got it plugged in and i have the four screws we haven't done anything yet so it's in the on position. And when you buy this, look at that. Ooh. So I'm gonna turn that back off. There we go. What I wanted to show you was that we named it the goat. So Katie has a goat, mountain goat on the side of the Jeep, um, which I don't think is factory, but it's, 
but it's on both sides. Yes. So we decided to name it the goat. Um, don't follow the crowd is on everyone. So. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start it. Okay, so RPMs are working. So I'm not real sure about the mileage. I mean the gas or the mileage yet. Okay, well, instructions don't help me do anything. So I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to click drive line. Okay, we're to settings now. AC vent light, so that's how we would have turned on the vent light. Fault codes, so we can read codes now. Car info, okay, so this is real time. Messed that one up. Uh, speed miles per hour. Okay. Temperature. Tire pressure. PSI. Distance. Volume. U.S. gallons. Okay, so that changed my miles. We just did, figured out that the gas gauge is actually a bar that drops, so the full one is actually missing. So that's cool. So yeah, with my temperature, it's the same thing. It's bars. So settings. So I did get out and I just checked my tire pressure. I have 35 PSI on my front tire. So we might have to drive or I might have to come back in and turn it back off. I don't know. I was just trying to eliminate this if I could. So navigation, media, drive line, mode. Okay, so before I start doing anything else, um, I'm going to, on the mode, I'm going to try to go down and see if it changes. Nope. I just changed my trip. Trip A, trip A, B. So click OK. There we go. How to click OK. Here we go. We're going to start at road mode. OK. I'm going to try to give it a little bit of gas, see if the RPMs change. Yes, they do change. So, from my understanding, while you're driving, the road moves. Very good. People said it's distracting, but... It's cute. Yeah gallon an hour. I and wish you could like customize the Jeep on the screen. <laughs> yeah. So some people jailbreak these. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, but it, it, it's a thing. It's okay. And we are facing south right now. Huh. So that's a question. Yeah, maybe if we drive. Yeah. So climb mode, you already saw climb mode. Here's snow mode. Check that out. Ooh. Focus. Very interesting. <laughs> the like Yeti dude. We're going to see what mud mode looks like. Interesting. I like the spotters. I'm gonna do okay. More buttons. Sand. There's sand mud. I think I like snow. Well, what was climb? Climb I thought was cool. 
climbs a little bit different. Climbs at least more normal. It's still, so it shows your pitch and your miles per hour, but it's in tens. Okay, if you're on road mode, it breaks it. Okay, so it's still in 10, but the road moves. So um, we don't have the radio set up yet, but we could probably go for a short drive and see if any of this changes. Okay, so we just did another test drive, uh, just playing with it a little bit. Um, it does change from gallons to miles per gallon when you get over five miles per gallon. My gas gauge has dropped a little bit. Um, everything's working like it should, except for the navigation directional, the compass. Um, other than that, something I did notice is it is still super bright even when, um, oh, look, that's how you change the brightness. So we had it on full blast or full height is brightness going down the road and it was overly overwhelmingly bright. So I forgot that you can dim it this way. So that would help it. That was my only other complaint. So the compass also is showing it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit. It, uh, it's like 30 outside it's 35 so that um high beam okay high beams came off so that's cool blinkers work there we go what else would be on the uh, and i did check my tire pressure i think i mentioned that it's it was wrong so whatever is the time right yeah time's right so that's cool okay so that's basically installed. We will have to figure out the compass. We're now going to go ahead and start working on the K1. Hopefully that goes in really quickly, but I do know we have to cut the dash, which will take a little bit more time, but we can do that in the garage. So we're gonna go ahead, run in, get the K1 and come back out. Okay guys, so I've sat here for like the last 10 minutes, plugging this nightmare of a wiring harness in. Um, all of this, and three things plug into the factory plug-in. Um, you have to look at this. Basically, by the time I was done, I had everything plugged in but two, and I'm like, well, I might as well just plug two in. That way everything's there. Um, there's a lot going on in here, and I'm not gonna explain it all because I don't even understand it. Basically, you look at the chart and um, you plug in what you're needing, what you don't need, what boxes go where, what wires go where. Um, but this is the, the mess of things. This is your USB. I got the backup camera plugged in so I could see if it worked. I have to run this wire to the back of the Jeep. So that will be a, a tomorrow. Uh, this is like 4G, I don't know, boxes, um, uh, a USB type thing that plugs into the radio. This is for your subs, antenna. So I'm seeing, if you want to point over here, I'm not using this wire and I'm not using the yellow one of these. So that's where I'm at right now. I am using this one, the factory plug back here and that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle off plug these in and get it hold up. I have not cut the dash yet. I'm just trying to make sure the radio works first. So that's where I'm at now. All right guys, so I have my three wires plugged in. Three wires plugged into the, to the vehicle. So here I am putting the keys and the ignition. That's pretty cool that it says Jeep. Mm -hmm. So I believe I was told the first time that this boots up, it takes a while, but every other time it won't. Check engine light is doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. So this one is touch screen. So let's just go to the radio 
It's um There we go. <laughs> well, we know the speaker short. So we wanna make sure we don't get no copyrights yeah. here. It's a great station to turn this Yeah. <laughs> screen on, screen off. Whoa. Oh. That's cool. So, pretty sure this is supposed to light up. I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle. There we go. Oh, oh, that's green. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah, it's green. Yeah, it's green. Okay. That's your home, that's your radio, the time. So the time on the radio controlled the time on the cluster. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, set, too bad I just did all this. Use network provided time. That's right. I think I can actually set, I can get my Wi-Fi on here. Use 12 hours. There we go. I can set my Wi Fi. You are now connected to the Wi Fi. It has not changed the time like I was hoping it would. What time is it? I don't know. 9, 10, something. Is 925, so yeah, that's two hours off. Apps. Let's do video. There's no video, okay? Let's see what navigation does. We can do that later, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So, customize. Phone link, all that. Okay, I'm just wanting to know oh. what does what. Settings, permission, storage, memory, accounts, system. Now I'm. I want to know apps. You're gonna have a great time with this. Yes, that looks good. So somewhere in here, it gives you the option to slide over. So your audio is gonna pop up on this. I know it's it somewhere. Yeah, you can slide the radio on too. So it has changed my direction. It's giving me my elevation and it's now saying that I'm pointed between north and west, west. which is still wrong. I'm currently facing south. So all that has to do with this stuff. So you will have to spend some time fixing this. Okay. There we go. That's what I was looking oh, yeah. for. Home. You push this button. Now we're going to see if it works. Okay, It's supposed to just switch through. Ready? Okay. No, wait. You take it and you slide, slide, it. slide it. Cool. So, mud mode. So, you... I mean, it's pretty cool that you can just do that. I definitely... I mean, like, if you're trying to impress somebody with your cool Jeep... Now you have a cool Jeep thing. All the other things worked. <laughs> now you have another cool Jeep thing. Mm -hmm. And your audio. So, don't know what how Apple Play is going to do all that. Let's see, what is this? Like, can I start? So when I click that, it turned that off. If I do this, oh, okay. All your different, oh man. Oh, that's weird. Everything about this is weird. So 
But I think part of it is messing up because I st still have the screen protector on. Yeah, it's probably pressing it. Yeah. Okay, so it does what I wanted it to do. It does that. I mean, how much cool? I mean, you can't get cooler than that to order both at the same time. Yeah, that's super cool. I like the snow guy. The Yeti. Now I'm facing east. east. We're getting there. We're not there yet, guys. We're just slowly turning. We've gone the opposite direction, actually. That's good. That one is now a different direction. But that's pretty cool. Definitely very cool. It will be... Oh, oh. We are now facing south. Oh, oh, it's, tur it's turning. Look, look. I can see it. Guys, I'm not facing north. Did it just turn back to north? Come on, guys. Maybe it's just really confused. If I drive around for a while, maybe it it'll figure it uh, out. And also once you sign into GPS and all that. Yeah. So, that's it. I mean, hey, look, the Jeep's the same, at least. So that's going to be cool, right? Yeah, let's make sure the Jeep's the same. Yeah, look, Jeep's the same. It's really close. No, it's the same. I would say it's the same. <laughs> I the front bumper looks a little supposed to be different. the same. It is. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, backup camera. Oh, God. Um. Okay. Come on, can you just work? Oh my goodness, it works. Look at us, looking at us. <laughs> Look at us, looking at us. I don't have to run any parking stuff. And I was so worried I was gonna have to run so many more wires. Hello, I think you can also move these, by the way. Settings, I don't know what that means. Weird. Hun, we could just keep this in here. And you can self mirror yourself so you can do your makeup and hair and not while driving but like yes with the great quality of the backup camera that's how i want to do my hair see and the makeup. back of my hair you probably don't want to it's a little messed up okay cannot get out of that must put it in drive i guess can't exit out of the backup camera maybe, while you're backing up. Maybe you want to show people you can do it without <laughs> it, okay? So, so. I don't need to be seeing where I'm going anymore. Turn it off. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to get this cleaned up, and then we will look at cutting, and we will show you guys how I plan on doing that, which I will figure out when I get there. Fun. Here we have the two dash pieces separated. I used an oscillating saw with just like a all-purpose wood blade. Um, I was able to cut that very, very decent overall. Uh, it does supposed to cover, supposed to come out and cover this. Um, I could probably put it back together and it would look okay would probably just choose to buy a new one if you ever did that. But there's the dash pieces and we're gonna go out and get it installed. All right guys, so I think the last time you saw that I was cutting this. So <clears throat> we never unplugged this. I was able to run my backup camera and my USB wire down the side and stubbed it out down here. Okay, this top piece does snap in place first with a screw, a factory screw in it. And then this snaps on, okay, with also another screw that we removed behind this earlier. So this is it. Um, going to make sure everything works before I snap back back pieces that are a little bit harder to open. You 
You want to pull it off for me? Yes. Oh, yeah, pretty bad one. <laughs> Maybe it didn't want us to pull it off. Look at how shiny. Yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, so our... Okay, the compass just spun again. The time is wrong, again. So as far as I can tell, everything is back where it goes. Okay, still facing the wrong direction. That's pretty cool though. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or want to know anything else or if you want to, whatever. If you got questions or something you want to point out, let me know. If you want to inform me of something, that'd be great. I will catch you guys in the next video.